Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic of our discussion today is retained placenta and how to perform the manual removal of placenta. What is meant by retained placenta? Retained placenta is defined as the failure of placenta to deliver within 30 minutes after the delivery of baby. It is managed by manual removal. In the topic of retained placenta, it is very important to know about the signs of placental separation and those include first of all a gush of the blood comes from the vagina, secondly umbilical cord gets longer, thirdly the uterus rises over the abdomen and fourthly the uterus becomes round in shape. Let us discuss the procedure of manual removal of placenta. First of all, I will introduce myself to the couple and explain the whole procedure along with pros and cons and take an informed consent. I will provide emotional support, sedation and anesthesia to the patient. I will give single dose of prophylactic antibiotic to the patient. I will hold the umbilical cord with a clamp, pull the cord gently until it is parallel to the floor. After wearing sterile gloves, I will insert my hand into the vagina up to the uterus along with the cord. I will place the other hand up over the abdomen in order to support the fundus of the uterus and provide counted traction during removal to prevent inversion of the uterus. Move the finger of the hand laterally until I locate the edge of the placenta. If the cord has been detached previously, insert into uterine cavity and explore the entire cavity until a line of the cleavage is identified between the placenta and the uterine wall. By keeping the back of the hand in contact with the uterine wall, I will proceed slowly all around the placental bed until the whole placenta is detached from the uterine wall. I will detach placenta from the implantation site by keeping my fingers tightly together and using the edge of my hand to gradually make a space between the placenta and uterine wall. I will hold the placenta and slowly withdraw the hand from the uterus, bringing the placenta with it. With the other hand, I will continue to provide counter traction to the fundus by pushing it in the opposite direction of the hand that is being withdrawn. If placenta does not separate from the uterine surface by a gentle lateral movement of the finger tips at the line of the cleavage, suspect placenta accreta and proceed to laparotomy. Palpate the inside of the uterine cavity to ensure that all the placental tissues have been removed. Give oxytocin infusion. Have an assistant massage on the fundus of the uterus to encourage a tonic uterine contraction. Examine the uterine surface on the placenta to ensure that it is complete. If any placental lobe or tissue is missing, explore the uterine cavity to remove it. Examine the genital tract carefully and repair any tears of the cervix or vagina or repair episiotomy. If placenta is retained due to constriction ring or if hours or days have passed since delivery, it may not be possible to get the entire hand into the uterus. In such case, extract the placenta in fragments using two fingers, ohm forceps or wide curate. Let us talk about the post-operative care. Observe the woman closely until the effect of intravenous sedation has worn off. Monitor vital signs, vaginal bleeding for every 30 minutes up to next 4 to 6 hours. Palpate the uterine fundus to ensure that uterus remains contracted. Continue intravenous infusion. Now we will discuss the Schulze method of placental separation. Placenta separates in the center and folds in on itself as it descends into the lower part of the uterus in 80% of the cases. Fetal surface appear at the vulva with the membrane trailing behind. Minimal visible blood loss as a retroplacental clot retained within the membrane inverted sac. Another method of placental separation is that of the Duncan method. Separation starts at the lower edge of the placenta, lateral border separates in 20% of the cases. Maternal surface appears first at vulva, usually accompanied by more bleeding from placental side due to slower separation and no retroplacental clot. After placental separation, we shouldn't underestimate the care of newborn and the mother. Care for at least an hour after the delivery. The mother should receive cleansing, body wash, mouth wash and perineal care. She should be encouraged to empty bladder and bedpan offered. Blood pressure, pulse, uterine contraction and bleeding should be checked every 15 minutes. The baby should be seen by the neonatologist. 
so thank you so much that was all about the retained placenta and its management subscribe on ops and gynae allah hafiz